the previous lecture, we have discussed basic concepts of the Git. We have created together new folder, initialized it with Git and uh, committed uh, different changes. But uh, Git is not simply local source control system. It is distributed source control system. And uh, you can copy your project files to different computers and using Git stay in sync when any changes are implemented on any of the computers. So, for this course I have created Git repositories and those repositories are hosted at GitHub. Please navigate to my page at GitHub and here you will see repositories that are published here. For this course you will use such repositories as JavaScript Bible Basics or JavaScript Bible ES6. Please click on corresponding repository, for example this one. And here at the right you will see option clone or download. Please don't use download zip option. Always use clone. You can clone either via HTTPS or via SSH. Let's use HTTPS option. Simply copy this link by clicking on this icon and then go to the terminal. In the terminal, please change directory, for example, to desktop, the place where you will store project files and simply type following git space clone space and paste copied string. This repository JavaScript Bible Basics is used in the first section of this course and press enter. Here you will see message cloning into JavaScript Bible Basics. And now here if I will list folders on the desktop ls, I will see two folders, JavaScript Bible Basics and test. I can simply delete test folder for now because I don't need it anymore. Let me delete it here. But uh, you can leave it if you want to, to play with git yourself and try other git commands. But I will move it to trash. Ok, let's get back to the terminal and here let's change directory to this new folder. CD JavaScript Bible Basics. I can use tab here. And press enter. And here you immediately see that you are located in the master branch. Let me clear terminal here. And let's use commands that you are already familiar with. For example, git branch. And here you will see only one branch. It means that locally on your computer you have only one master branch. Ctrl Z. And now let's type git log. And here you will see bunch of commits that were made in the master branch. And I was an author of those commits. Ok, Ctrl Z. Let's again clear terminal and type following command. git branch dash r. Enter. And here you will see bunch of branches that are located in the remote repository. And you can easily check out those remote branches. And when you will check out remote branch, new local branch will be created on your computer. For example, let's check out this branch for the challenge number one. Let me copy this string, command C, close this, control Z, and now type following command git check out dash dash track and paste name of the copied branch. This track option will create local branch on your computer with the name that will match this name but without origin prefix. Let's press enter. And here you see message that local branch with this name is set up to track remote branch with the same name here. And you were switched to new branch with this name. And here you see the same information. Ok, let me list local branches now. Let me clear console and use git branch command. Now you see here two branches, master and this one. And currently you are located in this branch. Ctrl Z. And now let's open this project in the Visual Studio code. Code dot and enter. And here we are. We have opened project with initial files for the challenge number one. And here you see such files as index.js with some code inside and with challenge task. You see here index.html or favicon.png. 
Okay, let's change branch one more time. You can do that directly here in the VS Code. Simply click here on the name of the branch, and here you will see again list of all branches. If you see here prefix origin, it is a remote branch. Without origin, it is a local branch, and here you see two such branches, master and this one that was just checked out. Let's check out, for example, a branch called 03 objects, this one. Let's click on it. And here we are. We have checked out another branch. And if I will click on the index.js file, you will see other file contents. Ok, let's go back to the terminal. And in the terminal, let's clear it first and list local branches again. Git branch, enter. And now you see three local branches. This one was created automatically. And now it tracks remote branch. Ok, let me close this list and go back to VS Code. In VS Code, you can also search by name of the branch. For example, if I click on the branches list and type here, for example, variables, you will see that this branch will be highlighted and you can immediately check out it locally. Let's click on it and here we are. We have switched to the new branch. And again, in the terminal, if I will list branches, you will see that this new branch will be added locally. Ok, that's how simple it is to switch between different branches for different project files for this course. In the next lecture, I will show you how to use source tree program in order to switch between branches. See you in the next lecture. Bye bye. Thank you for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Link to the next video in this section you will find here. Link to the playlist for this section you will find here. If you want to enroll in the full length JavaScript Bible course, link is now here. See you in the next videos and I wish you good luck. Bye bye.